Hi, welcome back to this Wise in FMOD comparison video series. That's it now. We've learned everything we want to learn for this, this short project. We've gone through integration and licensing. We've done footsteps and how we can change them on different surfaces. We've added an ambience to the scene. And we've also looked at music systems within both pieces of software. I think at this point, we've now gathered enough information to really decide which one we think is best and we can make a decent comparative video on them. With that in mind, my experience may differ from others. However, I'd like to give you my thoughts on which I think is the preferred piece of software. So firstly, we'll go to licensing and we'll just talk about that very briefly. And from what I can gather from their website and other sources, FMOD appears to be slightly more cost effective. So it might attract more inde independent developers, perhaps. Um, not only that, it does appear to have a slightly more user-friendly interface and it's much more familiar as, as a music composer, it looks like a door to me and it's uh, just a lot more approachable. Wise, on the other hand, has a very programming-based aesthetic, which would probably provide a much steeper learning curve to the uninitiated. It actually looks like an old, one of my first sequences I ever used on the Atari ST. It looks just like that, the color palette and everything. But don't be fooled, it's still a very powerful piece of software. In terms of integration with Unreal, both seem to fare relatively well. I think FMOD took the slight edge there. However, it's got a smoother pipeline and workflow between the studio and the game engine. Everything seemed to work better. You, you, you build from FMOD and it just appears in Unreal straight away. You don't need to click anything else. It's pretty effective. Then again, Wise isn't that bad. So they're both relatively good. Although FMOD does appear to have slightly more options when it comes to blueprints. So which do I think that you should learn if you haven't learned one already? My answer would be both of them. Sorry about that. The reason for this is that after searching the internet and reviewing all of the games in my own library, it appears that both are used incredibly frequently throughout the industry. Wise more so than FMOD, but FMOD is still used a fair bit. So it would be beneficial for composers and sound designers to learn both, so you've got a wider bracket of potential game projects to work on. I would however recommend that you start with FMOD, primarily because it's immediately more familiar and it will allow you to cut your teeth on an adaptive audio mid piece of middleware. FMOD is also faster to pick up, so it will allow you to understand how game audio works and the mechanics behind it and the concepts behind it, which is probably more important than the middleware itself. And once you've, once you've got that, it will make learning wise an awful lot easier. Alongside that, in order to become more efficient and uh, more useful within a game development environment, it would be highly beneficial to learn not only the tools such as middleware, but the coding behind the integration. There is a lot more to it than just the middleware. There's a large, large amount of integration, scripting and coding behind the scenes at an engine level. So learning an engine is also key. In terms of Elias, I love it. It's, it's an incredibly intuitive piece of, piece of kit. It's really creative for, for, for composers. Um, however, I do have one concern regarding its capabilities. I'm not sure where it stands in terms of sound effects. From what I can tell, it's primarily designed for music, if not music only which it does very well, but that makes me think if you are a middleware user, you probably would need to use another package alongside it such as WISE. And this would be very expensive for processing power and licensing with double the overheads and double the license fee. I'm not sure how effective that would be. Time will tell for Elias, and it's quite niche, but it's really creative and it's just brilliant, so I, I can see it breaking the scene in the future. So that's it, that's my two pence, that's my, my thoughts on it off the back of this project. But I'd be really interested to hear what everybody else thinks about this. Which one do you think is better and which one do you prefer? Have you used these in any professional projects? Let me know in the comments, I'd be really interested to hear. Alright, thanks then, bye.